Hi, and welcome to The Incredible Life of Cat. This is the third time I'm taping this. The second time, just, it, it was bad. So, um, the first time I did it in slow-mo and it turned off, don't ask me what's going on. Today's Saturday, and I wanted to share with you guys the haul that I picked up from Bath & Body Works. It is a small haul. I want to say thank you for watching my channel, and if you haven't already, you can subscribe down below. I also want to say thank you to my viewers for just being you. And I have gotten like an overwhelming amount of support with comments, likes, shares on my page lately. And I really, or on my YouTube channel, I really appreciate it. I really am liking it. And I like responding to you guys whenever possible. Sometimes I'm working, sometimes I'm not, or sometimes I'm just, you know, kind of busy. But I'm enjoying the interaction very, very much. And I appreciate it very, very much. And just wanted to say thank you because if I didn't have my viewers and I didn't have my subscribers, I would just be some lady in Nevada with a whole lot of Bath and Body Works in her house. That said, I'm going to show you what I picked up. I am also going to give you a little disclaimer. This is what I picked up from the store. This is not what I did to break my no buy. I broke my no buy prior to this and I do have additional and I will explain of this coming. But the first item I wanted to compare for you was blueberry bundt cake. And I'm going to spray it on myself. I'm going to compare that with blueberry. Oh, I sprayed it on the chair. Blueberry sugar pancakes. So immediately to me, I am noticing that blueberry sugar pancakes has a sharper and stronger blueberry to it. And this one um, is not as strong, but you're getting a more cakiness to it than you would like a pancake-ness. I'm trying to compare here. And you are getting, I believe it's honey in here. The notes are harvest blueberries, honey drizzle, and fluffy cakes. So you're getting a much smoother dry down on this. And it's not necessarily sweeter. It's actually less sweet, but it's thicker. It's nice. I really like this one. Um, I love them both. I like both of them, but I don't like to overdo it with blueberry. Otherwise, I get sick of it. I don't use a ton, but I do have items like these that I do like using. And um, this is a possible repurchase for me, but I think I'll probably hold off. So for my other haul that I have coming, besides the things that broke my no-buy, there's also set of full sets of these. Um, not multiple sets, um, a full, what would be a full set for me to finish one fine fragrance mist is two lotions and one shower gel. And we're not going to buy any more of it yet, but these have potential to be multiple purchases. But what I'm going to do is try to hold off until the next semi-annual sale. And if they have it, maybe if they don't, okay. And I'd rather just use my products as is kind of keep it at a low buy at this point. Um, not buy too many duplicates like I tend to do. The next scent, where did it go? The caramel one. Oh, you were sitting there. My daughter is trying to steal this from me. Oh my. So the comparison that I have to this pumpkin swirl cake, I read a review on the Bath and Body Works website and somebody said that it was the same as pumpkin cupcake. It is not. First spritz, it smells very, very similar. But there is a difference in the notes and to me there's a difference in the dry down so the notes for pumpkin cupcake are whipped buttercream madagascar vanilla and pumpkin spice freshly baked cupcake and the ones for pumpkin swirl cake are pumpkin spice caramel toffee and creamy vanilla so i can't spray a candle on myself i can use the hand back but i can already tell you First sniff, when it first is spraying, you're getting some of that cupcake. And then immediately as it starts to dry down, you're smelling the toffee and vanilla. And I was mentioning kind of like how it's a bridge almost. You've got your pumpkin spice and you have your toffee. And then you've got the vanilla in the middle. It's like a bridge to that caramel toffee note. But I do really like this one. And it is similar, but obviously not the same as pumpkin cupcake. And... I do have the potential to overbuy on this one if there was a great sale, but I am reminding myself I have to pay for it and then I have to drive all the way to the store to be able to pick it up. So that may prevent me from doing that until semi-annual sale, 
but I can always, you know, I have other pumpkin fragrances and multiples of these from the last time I bought multiple of them. So I want to use those before repurchasing a ton of this, if that makes sense. A ton of this new stuff. Having an extra fine fragrance mist of it, one, when I finish one, okay, I'm fine with that, but really depends on the situation and the scent. And the last one I bought from that series, and honestly, you guys would think there's something seriously like wrong with me, that there is like something that happened to me that I finally like cracked and lost my mind. I got strawberry pound cake. If I did not have this, you guys would know. You guys would be like, okay, what, what's going on? They really re-released strawberry pound cake and she did not buy it. So the notes for this are fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. And I can guarantee you that this smells like strawberry pound cake. I don't sit there and compare what is stronger anymore or which one has more strawberry or more pound cake anymore. This is strawberry pound cake. I just finished actually making a strawberry pound cake. I made a pound cake and then I made whipped cream all from scratch and then right when we're about to eat it I am gonna wash cut up and do all the fun sugary things with strawberries so we can have that for dessert today if you guys want those recipes they are not my recipes but I can link them down in the comments if you want me to but that is all the sharing on the mist that I got for the sale and by the way I did only spend $19 and some change so Pretty happy about that. And guess wise, I had to go to the grocery store out there anyway. I was going to, so why not just, you know, go Friday night instead. The last two items that I have, I have the brown sugar toaster treat, sweet as sugar. And this I got with a reward. I do use my reward on single wicks from time to time. I usually try to get an item that is within the price range of them that I really want. So I rather than use it on like a handbag holder or something a little more a little more pricey. The notes for this are crumbled crust, gooey brown sugar, and sprinkling cinnamon. I can't smell this that well. At least a little bit, but not that well in the candle. And I, I know better than to get my hopes too high for single wood candles. I do have this in the handbag, which you will see in my other haul video that's probably gonna be at the end of this next week and I got the pink gumball to make me happy which is like bubblegum pop is it as strong on first sniffs not to me the notes are rainbow gumdrops sugared vanilla and pink sponge sugar I would have to look at the notes on bubblegum pop to know if there's a if it's supposed to be an exact dupe or a repackage do I care not really it's a bubblegum scent I'm gonna try it this smells good and it smells just like bubblegum pop to me. Maybe a little less on that like mint to it and not citrus. Is there supposed to be citrus in this? Yeah, I'm not smelling citrus in this one. But it's still a nice scent and I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to try these out and maybe let them set a little while, see if they get a little bit stronger. I know you want to smell that. Hey guys, I got cut off. I don't know what happened. There's something going on with my phone. So, um, just wanted to say thank you again. Have a good day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.